subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, I started to garage sale with a friend today and most of the neighborhoods are not ready for us on a Friday. So I went to estatesales.net and I found this place about 20 minutes away. Let's pop in and see what they have to offer today. There's no line since we are a bit late to the party today since our garage sale didn't work out. And that is one benefit. Let's walk in and see what they have. And no large bags. My friend has a bag, so we'll have to leave it at the front counter. And I see beautiful things as soon as I walked into the right. Oh, look at the basket. I have the same one in a teal color and you've seen me feature baskets on my spring table. $4 is a steal. Here's Belique. $85, that's a bit high for that creamer and sugar, so I'll pass. This $6 basket, I really should have bought. I don't know why I put it back. They clearly have some beautiful things featured here and the prices are great. Let's walk in the living room. There's a glimpse into the kitchen. And here's the hold table. That's important to find as soon as you get to an estate sale so that you don't have to carry everything. So in the living room, there's lots of fashion jewelry and some collections. And this beautiful piece would be great for displaying those collections. I wish I had a spot for that. 1975 calendar. Interesting that she still had it. The frosted tulip candle holders. That's something I've never seen before. It's a pretty rose bowl. And there seem to be very many collections here in all the little corners and the cabinets. That's sweet for $2 a piece. You could use those as nut dishes or even for decor. Wedgwood Jasperware, that's a really good price. I have so much of the Jasperware, I really don't need any more. But the prices are fair, I have to say. You never know what you'll find inside. It could have been a piece of jewelry. That reminds me of the Avon egg that my mother had. I see those everywhere. And this is great for flowers. You're probably wondering what this is with the cherubs. This Limoges Haviland piece would be great as a nut dish. So many beautiful things. That looks like Roseville pottery. The lady of the house clearly had some beautiful things from many different eras. And lots of fashion jewelry. The hand-painted brooches were popular in the 60s and 70s. Looks like she definitely got out, went to lots of parties. There's the American Brilliant cut glass. And the American pattern in the Fostoria, it's a little whatnot dish little tidbit. It's a great price at $4. And these USA tumblers, I should have bought these for my daughter's The American Revolution fundraiser, but I didn't. The Fenton Hobnail vase, the fan shape, is perfect for floral arranging, but I think the price is a bit high. I'll pass on that. And who knew that Colonel Sanders had a Christmas album? Kentucky Fried Chicken. I must have missed that in the 70s. The opalescent blue square bowl is exquisite. It's really hard to decide what to get in an estate sale because there are so many things, and in this case, the prices are fair. Here's some depression glass. Love that waffle pattern. I find that it's hard to walk away. This is $5, the Imperial Glass Company Candlewick Compote. What a steal, should have bought it, but it's just a bit overwhelming, and I have to narrow it down to just a handful of things because I'm running out of space. But I do look for gift ideas. The dining table has some beautiful things. I have to get this EAPG, Early American Press Glass Pitcher, since I featured that recently on my channel. And just a smattering of items. I'm seeing so many things of interest. The cracker trays. And this is a silver plated tray from Wilcox. And I have the Lady Mary pattern in the tea set. This was a really good deal. And I wanted to show my friend. And when I turned around and went back, someone had it in their hand. So it went to a good home and lots of china. This looks like Limoges, salt cellars. 
My friend really liked these rose plates, but they were a bit pricey. I think they were $80 for this set. Of course, we could have gone back the next day for perhaps half price, but we didn't because, you know, life gets in the way. This was an interesting and complete set with the canisters, the clock, and the serving platter. It's a brand I've never heard of, George Briard. That looks like it could be from the 60s, and it was probably very expensive and highly collectible at that time. What a neat collection for someone to take home. And you can definitely tell that this was probably her heyday when she was raising her family and had all these beautiful things and for entertaining. Staffordshire, England, flowers. Be great on a side table. And this looks like it's from Goebel, the maker of Hummels. And I'm not sure if that was a calendar holder. Clearly there was a use for that the chimney sweep. This looks like an RS Prussia piece. I think that's fabulous for $12. It'd be great for cookies. You could even display it on a shelf, add some interest. And this cloche for $22 with the wooden base is a deal. I featured a segment on how to make your own cloche and how to embellish and incorporate collections inside. So I'm definitely getting that. And the bamboo Easel, I should have bought that, especially for my chinoiserie party coming up, but I didn't. These are place card holders that are mother of pearl. That was a fair price and in the original box, but I do have some place card holders, so I didn't buy them. And in the kitchen, they had a really neat snack set in a Christmas pattern. My friend liked that. And I'm not in the market for more kitchen items, so I'm just going to glance. This hen reminds me of the 70s. I think all of our grandmas had this in their home. That's great for baked quiche. This is a pattern I've not seen before from Mikasa, Ultima. I like the blue and white with a touch of green. Let's see what's in the drawers. I'm surprised they didn't have these open. There's a coaster set. I see that the lady of the house has been to Canada, probably England. She definitely traveled. $3 for a silver plate of trivet is a deal. And I like to look at the linens. I don't need any more placemats, but it looks like she has quite a few. And flatware, if you're looking to set up a household, that would be a good opportunity. And utensils, but I just don't need anything like that right now. My college kid is set up. A silver plated basket is great for bread. And here in the kitchen, they have quite a few different things. Unusual crystal ducks. I like the cake plate. And that opalescent green bowl is so nice. Copper molds. This looks like the imperial egg collection that is reminiscent of the Fabergé eggs. I like the rich royal colors on that. And I'm sure she had this displayed in her kitchen. I like the basket. They're selling it as a set. And that cake plate reminds me of something I've seen in Germany. I should have turned it over. And of course, teacups. These are Demi Toss and $4 for Made in England is a really good deal to add to a collection. And the tea strainer was a good price. I should have bought this. I have just a handful of them and I think that would be a nice collection to have. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that's empty, but you know, that can be useful too. It's a good price, $18. And I really don't need any more from the kitchen. Let's check out the master bedroom. That's usually where you find some true hidden gems. That's a gorgeous wardrobe. I can't believe the inlay. It's just absolutely great for storage. Large inlaid armoire from the late mayor, Fred Hoffines estate, 1500. And it's funny because I'm friends with the Hoffines family. Deanie, his daughter, is a close friend. And they're a famous Texas family with connections to President Johnson. The clutches are my favorites. Look at this. Wonderful leather gloves. Oh, she was such a fine lady. And you can see the different eras there. I saw a pillbox, life changes, pretty Christmas quilt. Even in the master bathroom, you do find some interesting things because the estate sale company usually does not travel too far once they start pulling things out. That's a bed jacket. These cobalt rose bowls I should have bought for $2, but at the time didn't realize I was hosting a luncheon coming up where I'm gifting that to the guest of honor. And I really needed that. Lots of doilies and linens that looks like from the 70s, embroidered, seasonal with the bunnies. I really don't need any more linens. It has to impress me greatly for me to pick that up because of storage. 
That peacock looks like it's from the 60s. Gorgeous. I like the colors. And as you know, every home has a seasonal spot and Christmas is usually prevalent. You sometimes find it in the garage or maybe this was stored in the attic and they brought it down to a guest room. And I tend to not buy too much with Christmas because I already have a vast collection, but sometimes I find a piece that will go well or maybe a piece that I've been looking for. There's some Easter. I like this tree skirt for $7 that's been hand embroidered and embellished. And what a deal, especially if you have a second Christmas tree in your home, maybe a little more whimsical, that sure would be a great addition to it. And I'm seeing the 70s here with those bears. The Fitz and Floyd pictures are nice. And here's a lamp from the 60s. They were well known for their tall lampshades. That's how you can put the age on that. I keep coming back to the dining room, it's so pretty. This marble top table reminds me of a Civil War era that my grandmother had in her family, and that's an excellent price at $65. It's a pretty round tray with the mother of pearl inlay. It looks to be expensive, and it is the Toll brand. That is a company that makes sterling silver flatware. So that's a good deal. It's always hard to know what to focus on. In the wet bar, lots of wine glasses. This is a deal that's a sterling and glass coaster that can hold a wine bottle, champagne bottle. And this I especially like, again, sterling. I put sliced lemons on this for my tea table and for dinner time with iced tea. These are bargains. I'll take these to our home in Germany. I already have silver polish there, so that's perfect. And that is a crystal. The other one is a glass. And the guest room has some treasures too. I like this furniture piece here. Again, great for a collection. And it's purposeful with the mirror. Could go well in the bedroom. The Fenton hobnail bowl has a flower frog already in it. It's a gorgeous piece. And this Caprice glass from, I think Fostoria made that. $12 is a deal. The Olympic play from Munich, 1979. I've been to the Olympic Stadium there. Quite impressive. I like the bamboo easel. I really should have bought more. These are bed jackets, it looks like, and hand crocheted clothing from the lady of the house. You never know what you'll find in the bathroom. And the Demi Loon table, that fits just about anywhere. At 110, eh, it's a little more than I would think that you should spend. This is the bathroom. Can you believe it? How wonderful to get to view all the collections there. I wonder how she originally had it displayed. Teacups are really neat. This Epern is catching my eye. The ruffled edge, just love it. It's more than I would spend though, so maybe the second day of the sale that was the bargain. I like the crown pin. Interesting thing about this estate sale we found out is in this particular neighborhood, the homeowners association does not allow any type of sale. So the family had to pay a $750 fine to be able to host this sale. That's a gorgeous rose bowl. I think my friend is probably gonna get this, made in Poland. And for the family, it was worth paying the fine because they needed to empty the home. They didn't live locally. They couldn't even be present that day although most families are not usually during the estate sale. This pin reminds me of something I've seen in Germany that's actually from Russia with the mother of pearl inlay and a Capodimonte Italian collection. I have some eggs that I enjoy collecting. That's a deal. I really should have bought that, but I didn't. And now it's time to make my way to my shelf where I have all the hold items. And of course, just because you put it on the shelf doesn't mean you have to buy it. You're not committing to it. You can always put it back, but I'm definitely gonna get these. And I'm trying not to overbuy today. There's so many things that I saw that I probably should have bought, but it was in the garage sale frame of mind. My friend is getting this Waterford Crystal Creamer and Sugar. It's the miniature version and lots of beautiful things. And not too much for me today, but I do love that cloche. I think I could have some fun with that. 
I'm glad that the garage sales didn't work out today because I found this wonderful estate sale and it really does help to look at estatesales.net and put your zip code in. I got some early American pressed glass and a wonderful cloche and some other fun items and my friend got a Waterford Crystal mini creamer and sugar. That was the find of the day. I sure enjoyed popping in and it's always nice to see what is in your neighborhood. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your every day with estate sales. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.